Hello, hello. Welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 24, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We found out that our gate key got stolen while we were drunk and asleep after the party. And, well, that's the that's the hint. They don't out and out say that. Uh, I find it kind of funny that the reissue is a little more um, forward with what happened than the original game was. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. And so we find ourselves going through the maze and getting ready to enter into the Reptite Lair. Now, if you were with me live, you'll have heard the deliberation that led up to this decision. But I really got to get, uh, before we go into the Reptite Lair, I need to get Ayla's tech up a little bit. Uh, because she does need certain skills. So... Instead of progressing the story, I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit. And we're going to do a little more chatty, chatty episode than I normally do. Uh, you know what? I wonder if I can just get these guys with the regular attacks. Um, it's going to be a little bit more chatty episode than I normally do because I'm going to go ahead and gr grind up some levels real quick. Well... I don't know that you can really call it real quick, but uh, we'll call it that anyway. Just because I really desperately need to get some levels up before I do the next thing, including I need to get Ayla's skills up. You see, once her, once she gets enough tech points, she actually learns a skill that will give you a chance to steal items from some of the enemies. Different ones have different things. Not everybody has something that you can steal. Yeah, yeah, I know. Air quotes on real quick. There's not going to be anything real quick about this. Plus, um, I am coming down with something, and it is clearly <laughs> impacting my ability to do some of the stuff. And, uh, yeah. Oh, who's got the... Uh, oh. Never mind. That's right. I traded out the area attacks. All right. Let's just do the regular ones then. Um, so I, I, I noticed the last episode was definitely a little more scattered than uh, I normally am or have been doing so far. So uh, in the interest of uh, not skipping my way through the story and explaining stuff as we go, I'm going to go ahead and... yeah. We be leveling. This is actually not the place you want to do this. Uh, as I mentioned, one of my one of my commenters over on the YouTube side um, pointed out a number of episodes ago. At least, if you're going by the YouTube episode releases, that a good way to get levels and tech points quick is to fight the news and you, and they are over in the hunting range. And so, oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to you. So, somehow my Google assistant thought that I was actually trying to talk to her. I, I don't know what I said that would make her think that. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my top result. I, wow. Okay. Okay. And I thought that thing was supposed to be helpful. All right, uh, why do I get the feeling I'm lost? Because I'm lost. Because I'm trying to talk and walk at the same time, and clearly I am not in a condition to do that. So that might uh, that might be the best call I made to, <laughs> to, to, do, the, uh, to do this as a... Uh, especially since I'm passing my vine. To do a little bit of leveling. At least we got all bought all the items that we need from this go around. Anyway, you want to come over here, find your days of the new. Oh wait, no, that's not, <laughs> that's not it either. We want to go up into the hunting range now. There, there are frogs which you can fight for some nice XP, but they don't give you tech points. And over on two spots, you get a chance to find a new when it rains. One of them is right here, and the other is up this way. And he would be down here. Uh, it is a percentage chance he will show up in one of the two spots if he shows up at all. 
So basically you end up running around back and forth, back and forth. Oh, speaking of rain, I didn't see him on the beach, so he should be... Nope. Doggone it. Uh, did I just miss him on the beach? Nope. Because that's the way my luck goes. All right, now these guys you can also fight. They will give you XP. They'll give you limited tech points. It's uh, not as nice, but let's go ahead and get the Aura World to get uh, everybody's health back up at least. Because I just noticed a couple people are down. There we go. Now we can commence uh, destroying these guys. Bam! Probably going to kill them on the counterattack. Almost. There we go. Nice. So, 144 XP, which is nice. Two tech points, which is okay. But you get some feathers and petals and other stuff from those guys. Or really, the, the best way to get XP is just keep running around, waiting until it rains, fight the new. Because they are worth 40 tech points. That is four zero. They're also worth about 200 and some odd XP. Um, that cluster of frogs is worth just shy of 200 XP. So if all you're doing is trying to get the regular levels, they are a better source. Ooh, and you up here? No. Are you over the other way? Come on, come on. Days of the new. There we go. <clears throat> this guy. This guy is well worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and do our combo ice sword just to knock the snot out of them. And attack. Because there's no point in healing her up. All he's going to do is headbutt and drop you down to one. Uh, he fortunately does not do anything that will uh, hurt you beyond that one. And that's the beautiful part. That's what makes him so wonderful for grinding XP. He, he's not going to kill you. And as we're about to see, he's worth a fair chunk. 248 XP, 30 tech points. 30? I thought it was 40. Okay. All right. So, yep. So we just learned a tech and a dual tech. And, oh, yeah, he also gives you three petals, fangs, horns, and feathers. So that that's that, that's where you start really picking up the stuff for some uh, items and whatnot. All right. So while we're here, lightning two should be coming up soon. Yeah, just nine more tech points. And cat attack which is the one I which is the second one that I really want before going into the area is only 52 tech points so that's two more news. She is going to get haste which speed things up so that's going to be in another two new tacks. And yeah, so drill kick that's the combination between cyclone and rondelo kick which is always nice and I want to say these two should end up getting a dual dual tech but that might not be until um Ice 2, maybe. Uh, so, even though I'm not going to show you the whole grind, I'm probably going to take these guys up to probably level 25 or 6, uh, at least until until I'm ready to uh, go, go get the stuff back. Because I don't want to end up at the end at a level any higher than 28, and I'm not sure how many levels I'm going to get going through the maze again and then going through the lair and taking the time to charm stuff out of um, the minions in the lair if I can manage it because that's the other thing uh, I don't know if you've noticed but when it comes down to things that require a dice roll I don't I don't do so good oh that's the other thing um, I wanted to also go through and heal everybody up uh, just in case we got into fights other than the new, because <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't do to run around and bump into a frog while half the party's at one hit point. That uh, okay. Oh yeah, there we go by the beach. So much for all that healing, huh? All right, so we're gonna attack and we're gonna ice sword. I guess I should have tried out that new uh cyclone kick seeing what that does because that does hit him for a nice 626 which is always good let's try the drill kick and drop an ice on him hmm 
Nice. Although not as good as the uh, Ice Sword. Okay. 30 tech points. Chrono got Lightning 2. Ayla's level increased. All right, you strong. Here, take. Three of everything. And Marley's just going to need one more. And... Oh, you know what? Here I am. I've got... In the back of the magazine, the tech progressions, and that should let me know at least what I need to get uh, to get some of the other stuff. Events plus endings, enemy data, weapons, items. No, oh, that's right. The tech stuff was over in the front for some reason. There we go. All right. And where is my dual tech? Double tech. I don't think I'll be able to get to any of the triple techs yet. Alright, so... Marley and Ayla gets twin charm. That's when Ayla gets charm. And ice toss will come with rock throw. Um, Rock throw is not for a little while, though. Because right now... She's getting ready for cat attack. Oh no, so rock throws right after that and then charms right after that. Uh so we might we might be able to get there. I don't know if we'll be able to get there hitting the uh, kind of attacks we're we're looking for, but um we might be able to get there. Alright, let's run around some more. Let me get that out of the way. <laughs> I think it's kinda of funny that you can see that. Although that does beg the question, why if it's showing the other stuff on top of the screen, why did it not show the video? So that is one of the other nice things that uh, I didn't realize this had some really cool videos for uh, certain scenes, like when Ayla comes through. You know, the starting video is not an in-game render like it was in the Super Nintendo game. It's a uh, it's something a little bit special, which is always nice. Oh, here we go. And are you down here? Nope. Are you on the beach? Doesn't look like it. You can usually see him from the ledge there. But just in case. Oh. He's not going to show that rain. Alright, down this way. Yeah, I probably spent a little too much time sitting in the menu. When I could have just been running around, letting stuff run out. Yeah, so... Marley should get her next tech this battle, right? Haste. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Um, and then I really need to start rotating her out for uh, Robo and Luca, so we can get them their next one. Even though I really want her to have lightning too. Ooh. I didn't see him on the beach. And he's not here either. Ah, oh, me and dice rolls. We just don't get along very well. All right, on the off chance. Yeah, one hit point each, a little low on the magic points anyway. So, let me see if I can sneak out of here without a fight. Head back down to the village real quick and... Drink the uh, special, special tap water that heals you up. All right, that's the chief's hut. That's the trading hut. This was the healing hut? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's them. This should have been it. Yep, drink the happy water? Yep. There we go. Hit points and magic points restored. All right. Up uh, back to the hunting grounds we go. I wish I'd remember that while I was grinding. I wouldn't have gone through so many shelters. I mean, I was going back to 680 to get the shelters returned anyway, so six and one half dozen the other. But uh, you get the basic idea. And it is going to be nice having lightning too. I, I got to double check uh, tech charts. Uh, I'll probably do that off camera while I'm grinding to see what landmarks I get to hit to get some of the better dual techs 
And if I can manage any of the triple techs just yet, because I think uh, I think some of the big triple techs don't kick in until later. All right, he's not on the beach. Be down here off to the side. Yes, there we go. I was hoping to get in at least a couple more battles before this finished up. All right, let's combo. Drill kick, sure. Tech, ice. Ice, ice, baby. Sorry if I got that song stuck in your head. No, not sorry at all. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, I know I just did that, but, um... It's probably going to be better if I let her do a regular attack. Let him... Oh, let's, let's try the lightning, too. Why not? And the rondillo kick. And ice. There we go. There's an area attack. I forgot that the uh, lightning, too, was a uh, hit everybody kind of deal. Maybe that's a little bit more like the chain lightning that Arcadius was talking about earlier. There we go. And a learned cat attack. Marley learned haste. And thunder chomp dual tech. All oh, that's um Thunder Chomp Oh, okay. That that used to be called something different. What what was that? Um Uh Arley, Chrono and Robo, Chrono Luga, Chrono Yeah, that used to be called Volt Bite. Thunder Chomp. Da 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 dum dum. No, that was something else. Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh... Alright. So. Her next one comes in 162 deck points. Her ice two comes in 350. Alright. Um, man. Getting ice two on Marley would be really nice. But let's, uh... Let's trade out a couple people real quick. Let's trade her out for Robo for the moment. Because he should have some stuff coming up too. Yeah, he's going to get a heal beam in another two battles. And if I remember right, that's going to trigger up a couple more dual techs. Now, unfortunately, I'm, I'm forced to have Ayla on the team for now because of where we are story-wise. So some of the dual techs, even though I'll technically have all the prereqs, they won't actually kick in. Because um, I don't think I actually explained how the dual techs work. This is as good a time as any. So everybody learns their single tech as they accumulate tech points. And then dual techs are a combination of two, two individuals' techs. Uh, they have to fight together in a battle when they both have the prerequisite attacks. That's also how the triple techs work, because you'll get uh, you'll get somewhere if you can get all three of them ready, they will do a mega attack. But uh, all three of them have to have the particular tech in question in order to make that work. So, like Volt, um, here let's uh, let's go back to that Volt Bite or Thunder Chomp. So you look at Thunder Chomp and you look that is a combination of lightning and cat attack. So it wasn't until Ayla got cat attack that we could actually do that. And once we did that and she earned that in a battle where the two of them were together with both of the prerequisites, that's when they were able to learn the dual tech. So that means that um, when we get Fire 2 and Ice 2 on Marley and Luca, they have a dual tech that they'll be able to do... That that's a scaled up version of the one they already have, uh, so it'll be Antipod two, and, but they won't learn it until they battle together. Once they both have Fire two and Ice two, so I gotta wait until I can kick Ayla out and start rotating people around to really get the good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, and let's do well, let's try the Thunder Chomp and the tackle. Nice. Yeah. That Thunder Chomp's going to come in handy because uh, uh, the there's going to be some dinosaur-type people that are vulnerable to it. Oh. 
Come on. Oh, never mind. He's done. 30 tech points. Spin kick dual tech. Um. Spin kick. Oh, that's the robo tackle and the rondello kick. There we go. Okay. I was trying to figure out what was up with that. And his heel beam is going to be one more new fight away. All right. Can I do that in the next couple of minutes? Because I have been sitting here yammering on aimlessly for 20 minutes. Can you believe that? Trying to level these guys up. Hopefully imparting useful game information. Because, um... With the pacing I've been trying to keep with the game, I notice I haven't had as much time for the side chatter or any of the discussion of game mechanics, that sort of thing. Which, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. In some respects, it might be a good thing because, <laughs> because I do have a tendency to wander. It's been a little while since I've had a uh, uh, more disciplined monologue time at least since I competed on the high school debate team. And, and so I'm a little out of practice on that part. And the, so these times get get a little random, get a little weird. And, and yeah, so that, that's a special time. On the other hand, as much as the uh, Games Revisited is all about the nostalgia, it is all about remembering those classic games Um in this case, a game that I played a lot in Season 1 when we did Knights of the Old Republic, a game that I wish I had played back when it came out. I never did. And it was a chance to actually, you know, take a look at one of those classic games. But again, we're coming back to the nostalgia. I did a little bit of the game mechanics talking there, too, which was nice, but I got bogged down in a lot of the story, too. And that was also nice. I wonder if I got I could have sworn that I, I was able to fight him without having to leave and come back in. But I might have to leave and come back in, or it's just, you know, the randomly random is not favoring me. I, I suspect it's the randomly random is not favoring me, but I might just start getting in the habit of leaving and coming back every time anyway. Because um, that never hurts. It... it it definitely forces a reset of the area, and I just, I could have sworn that the, the first time we fought him twice, we never had to leave. But that's, uh, that was two rains in a row that he didn't appear. I mean, what are the odds of that? Oh, wait, I'm playing. <laughs> I know, Arcadius, you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to go into the chat on that one. All right, no new... And what's new with you? Down we go. There we go. Maybe I do have to leave and come back. Or maybe that improves the odds. I don't know. Either way, let's go ahead and let's do our Thunder Chomp. Let's do our Robo Tackle. Because that definitely did a lot more damage than uh, some of the other techs. Bam! Bam! All right, let's try out a spin kick, drill kick. Oh, there we go. That finished it off. 30 tech points and Robo learns heal beam. Sweet. All right, so let's take a quick look. Heal Beam heals all allies a small amount, which is nice. Rapid Fire Fist. I, I think that was called the Rocket Punch in the original version. Um, that's always nice, too. Chrono and Robo. Yeah, that's going to be a little while before we get, um, get some of the other ones with Chrono and Robo. But let's do a quick heal beam. Get, um... Bam. Almost everybody back up. Robo's still got a few more hit points to go, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run outside, save the game, 
And between now and next week's stream, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to, matter of fact, let me go ahead and switch out the party because I might do a little bit of this while I'm waiting for stuff to upload. Because Luca is my next one. So I can get her to fire two. And then I'll swap Marley back in, try to get to ice two. And then swap Robo back in to try to get... It, you get the idea. Um, either way, I definitely need to get Ayla up. And I'll probably stop if I don't... If I can... If I can't get the, the text up to where I want before I get to about level 25, then I'll wait because I definitely want to get to the end of time again by... Um, by level 28. So that way we can do Spikio in his uh, next form. Alright, so let's save. Alright, yep. And there is where I'm going to slide on over the credits and say thank you very much for joining along so far. If, you, if you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, th this is actually it. This is the last one of the night. So, uh, it... This is where I let you all know if you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. That's why I record the next six episodes and release them out on YouTube as we go. There's a link in the description below. So if you want to know the future, watch live. You also get the opportunity to chat like Arcadius did earlier. And uh, have all sorts of fun and input. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch or Mixer, get notified when I go live. And no matter what, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. And uh, with all that, I will see you next week. <laughs>